Hi, in this video we're going to talk about association in the Netherlands, aka Vereniging. I'm going to tell you what it is and how you can form it. If you have questions about association or anything related to this video, feel free to contact me. Let's begin. Let's talk about association, aka Vereniging. In order to form an association, you need at least two persons. It can be a legal person or a normal person, but they need to at least work together to a common focus. So we are talking about person, one, and two. They are working together. They are working together and they have a common focus. So this is association. You have two kinds of association. One, association with full legal capacity and two association with limited legal capacity the difference is this with full capacity is with full capacity is just an association that's also a legal person that means when something goes wrong with a um, company the members cannot be liable for the obligation of the association but if we are talking about an association with a limited legal capacity then when something goes wrong the members that are behind the association can be responsible for the obligation of the association just remember that in order to form an uh, association especially a legal association you need a notary you go to the notary the notary helps you with the structure explain to you how it works and they will also form the things that need to be done for the association but if you're talking about association with limited capacity you don't really need to do a lot just to form this but in order to do that you just go with two or more members to the chamber of commerce and fill the form in and then you have an association with limited capacity but the problem with that is when something goes wrong the members can be responsible for the thing that goes wrong let's talk about the legal person you just go to the notary the notary helps you form the association it works almost the same as in uh, stichting because it's a non-profit organization and in the organization you have a director and because it's a legal person you can also hire employers to work for you you need contracts with the employers and when you have that you can work if you have commercial activity sometimes the tax government can see you as a commercial company and you need to pay taxes and you need to think about fat taxes but if you hire employers you need to pay employers uh, taxes the question how you form this you just go to the notary and the notary will form it for you the cost for this it depends on the structure of the association <laughs> This is the end of the video. In this video, I showed you what an association is and how you can form it. I also gave you a couple of tips that you can use. If you have questions about these tips or anything related to this video or anything related to association, feel free to contact me. See you in the next video. Power, 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 power